First up, we have the combustion of ethanol alcohol. I'm gonna put about 15, 20 milliliters of ethanol alcohol into a two liter bottle. I'm gonna swirl around a little bit. I'm gonna dump the rest out. After I do that, I'm going to ignite the mouth of the bottle, near the mouth of the bottle, and the fumes from my ethanol alcohol are going to ignite. This is going to show the chemical reaction between oxygen and alcohol. To spice it up a little bit, I wanted to see, I'm gonna just test out, if I could make an ethanol rocket, I wanna see if I can get enough propulsion from this chemical reaction to actually move this bottle across a fishing line. is just H2O water. That is not alcohol. For this chemical reaction, we are going to be igniting magnesium. By igniting magnesium, we're going to allow it to chemically react with the oxygen around it, and it's going to give us a nice bright light. It's going to make magnesium oxide. Take a look at this white powder, that is my magnesium oxide. Up next, we've got the age-old chemical reaction of vinegar and baking soda. This is an acid-base reaction. When I snap my lid on, it's gonna mix the vinegar and baking soda. I'll give it a quick shake. I will put it down. This carbon dioxide gas is gonna continue to build pressure inside of my little container. It's gotta go somewhere. So let's see exactly what's gonna happen. For our next chemical reaction, we will be working with sulfuric acid, which is extremely damaging to human tissue. So to take some precautions, I have my lab coat, I've got my gloves, I've got glasses. I also have some baking soda, which will neutralize the acid should I need to neutralize the acid. To set off a chemical reaction, which is going to make carbon and water. So let's see how it works. 